and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got the first update for the 2020 Vision Project Pan. Um, this is a project that is going to run from, well basically last month, for me at least, up until uh, the beginning of 2020, hence the 2020 in the title. Um, we've got 40 products to work on, 20 beauty items and 20 makeup items. And this was organized by Paula, Haley, and Elizabeth. Of course, their channels will be linked down below. Um, yeah, we've got quite a bit to go through, so let's just jump right into it. I've decided to only go with the products that I've made actual progress on, just to make sure that it doesn't get too boring for you guys. And I'm gonna start off with the beauty products. In case you're more interested in the makeup products, I'll make sure to put a timestamp down below as well, so you can skip through if you want to. But of course, I'd love it if you'd stay with me for the whole video. Um, let's jump right in. So first of all, I've got my scrub um, that I've been working on a quite a bit. As you can see, I've made some nice progress on this one. And I can see some pan plastic something at the bottom already. Um, so I think I can actually finish this one off by the next update. So let's see. Um, then one that I was kind of hoping to have finished... Um, by this update but didn't is the barefoot soothing foot cream um, I was a little bit higher up and at this point as you can see it's all bent down and I'm trying to squeeze out the last little bits but it's not empty yet so we're just gonna keep on squeezing and this one will definitely be done by the next update then one that I also kind of expect to be done by this update already is this Bayless and Harding um, midnight fig and pomegranate hand wash um, I went from very, very far down below to even more down to the bottom of it. Um, let's see if I can finish it off by the next update. So then we've got a couple of masks that I'm working on as well. This one is from Image and it's the Ageless Total Overnight Retinol Mask. Um, I marked it the first time, but now I realize that I cannot actually see through this. So I have no idea how I managed to mark this the first time um, during the intro of this. But yeah, I have no idea where I am. Um, I'm working on it so that's yeah I use this like twice a week because of the retinol that is in here like I don't want to use it too much so two times a week is kind of an overnight mask instead of my night cream is what I do with this one um, mask number two is also from image and this is the ageless total resurfacing mask and I've made a little bit of progress on this one I think I could have made more progress on it um, but I normally like use this over the weekend and I've been doing stuff over the weekend basically so i didn't really get to uh using this too much and then the last mask is this nivea daily essentials one minute urban details mask um, and i made some nice progress on this one as you can see so yeah pretty happy with that one and this one yeah, because it's only a one minute mask it's really really easy to just uh, slap it on like once or twice a week and uh, make some progress on it then on to my cleansers, also those I've been using every single day or like almost every single day at least. Um, one of them is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Balm and I've made a huge amount of progress on this one. I didn't expect to use this much of it, but of course like it's thinner at the top than it is at the bottom. So I'm expecting this one to still be here for two to three updates probably. And then this one from Image, um, the Aromatic Balancing facial cleanser that one i made less progress on than i expected so for this one i thought i was gonna be close to being done with this one by now but i've still got well, if you look at it i probably like three updates to go on this one or something like that so yeah working on it um and i like these cleansers i've used them before so it is not too big of a problem for me that I'm working on them for a little bit longer, really. Then the only hair product that I have in here is my Batiste uh, Dry Shampoo Plus in Heavenly Volume. And I've made a nice bit of progress on this one. Um, I use this throughout the week just to kind of freshen up my hair because normally I only properly wash it over the weekend. Um, yeah, so I'm making progress on it and I think like two or three more updates for this one as well and it will be done uh, but i always repurchase this one it's like i just really like this to kind of use it to create a little bit of extra volume and this one is like the heavenly volume so it's like specifically made to do that a little bit more than your average dry shampoo so i really like this one 
Then I've got my Pixie Glow Tonic and this one I've also made some nice progress on. Um, still have a good way to go on this one but I really love this tonic as well. Just because it has that little bit of acid in it basically that helps you um, keep your skin nice. Um, I really like using this every single day and that means that I'm making nice progress on it as well. It's the only tonic I'm using at the moment, so. Then moving on to my perfumes. One of the perfumes that I'm working on is this Chloe Love Story uh, perfume. I'm not the biggest fan of this, but like I'm wearing it right now and I, like, I don't mind it either. It's not like I think it smells awful or anything. Um, I've made a teeny tiny bit of progress on this one just because I was focusing on a perfume in my Finish Five by Fall. Um, if you want to see that, I'll make sure to link it up here, I think. Um, yeah, but I used that one up, so I'm focusing on this one a little bit more now. Then this one I've only used three or four times. And this is my solid perfume that I'm working on. Um, I went um, on a weekend to London to visit a friend of ours and that's when I took this one with me. Just because it's very easy to like travel up with something like this. So yeah, I used it. I still really really like this smell so yeah. <laughs> then another thing to make you smell nice is this deodorant from Nivea. It's the invisible for black and white um, antiperspirant and I've made some progress on this one as well because this is the deodorant I use on a pretty much daily basis. Um, and I think this one as well is going to be done by my next update. And then on to some last shower and body products. I've got the Super Beauty Raspberry and Cranberry Bot and Shower Gel and I've also made some nice progress on this one um, as you can see and yeah it's still gonna take me a little while to work through this but it's the only shower gel or the only like gel that I use for my bubble baths basically um, at the moment so yeah progress will keep on happening. And the same for this original source, Sweet Double and Vanilla Milk uh, Moisturizing Shower Milk. Also this one I've made a good amount of progress on, probably two, three more updates and this one is done. Um, but then I've got another one that I'm not showing you guys right now because this is the one I'm using and the other one is still kind of um, standing in my backup stash, if you will. Um, so yeah really like this one although I like the other one a little bit better because it's like banana and I really love that smell um, but this one is really good too so making progress then I've got my another stories body lotion in arabesque wood and I thought I would make more progress on this one than I did actually because I only made a little bit of progress on this um, and it's just because I'm not that consistent like the moment I filmed my intro I used this a fair bit of times and then I kind of stop doing that and I don't know what it is I always feel like it takes too much time to do it after I've showered but then when I really time it it takes me maybe two three minutes that's that's not a lot of time so I don't know why I don't use things like this more often it's it's just a thing that's in my head that I need to get out but hopefully filming this update will like urge me to start using this a little bit more again so I can make some more progress and like take care of my body at the same time and then the first finished product is this Deverlage Get Stress Relief Treatment Oil that I've been working on. I was up here and now I finished it off completely. Um, I love this for like when I have sore muscles or when I think sore muscles are coming up because it's got this like little herbally blend in it that's supposed to kind of um, take care of that um, when you massage it into your body. And to me, it feels like it really, really does that. Um, I'm out at the moment, but I'm gonna repurchase this one fairly soon, probably. Um, yeah, I really, really love this product. So that is all the beauty product stuff that I'm working on. And as you can see, there are a bit of products that I think I should be able to finish off by the next update. I think I had about five or so. Let's take a quick look. Okay, close to five. So I have four and three of them I'm fairly certain about. One of them I'm kind of hoping. Um, this scrub, it's just a matter of me using this once or twice, maybe three times, and then I should be able to finish this one off. So I just need to do that, basically. Um, this barefoot um, foot cream is pretty much done. So 
I just need to use this a little bit more and then it will be completely done. And then my deodorant, because I use this all the time and there really isn't that much left anymore. I'm pretty sure I can finish this one off. Then the only one that I'm not too certain about, because I made a lot less progress on this last time than I expected. I thought this would be done already at this point, basically, um, is the hand wash that I'm working on at the moment. So let's see if that one will be done as well. But yeah, that's four products that could be done by, less, by the next update. So let's see. Then moving on to the makeup products. Um, Honestly, I haven't been focusing on all the makeup products as much because I've still got other makeup products in other projects that I'm working on. And I've still got almost a year and a half to work on these, so I don't really feel the pressure yet. But let's see how that's gonna be uh, once the end of uh, 2019 is gonna start uh, like nearing in on us. Um, but yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon, really. So just to kind of show you guys the products that I have been working on, the products that I've been wearing but you won't be able to see any progress on is my NYX blush in taupe. Um, there definitely is a little dip in here but it just doesn't look any different than the last time you guys have seen this. So like I don't have a close up or anything. I think like once I hit pan on this that's the moment when you can really start seeing the progress I'm making on this. So. Yeah, but I'm using this pretty much every single day. I'm applying my makeup just to kind of create that little bit of shadow um, under my cheekbones. And then this Makeup Forever um, eyeshadow, I guess, in M536. I have been using a little bit. I use that in my brows most of the time, although I have um, Teddy Bear from my Too Faced palette in my brows at the moment. Um, but this was my go-to for my brows and I've used this as a bronzer a little bit sometimes as well Especially after I came back from my holidays Because my shoulders were kind of like had that golden sun-kissed sheen and the NYX taupe blush is definitely more on the cooler side So I started using this a little bit um, to warm up that area a little bit more but still be able to kind of contour then I have also used my Gosh Velvet Touch Foundation Primer and I thought that this would be a really easy one for me to work through but I consistently forget to use this just because I'm not used to using a foundation primer um, so I've used it but it didn't move enough for me to like make another marking or anything basically so I'm gonna try and do better because I think I've only used it like three four times while I could have been using it every single day I applied makeup and it would have probably almost been done with this so yeah let's see we'll just keep working on it and hopefully a little bit better over the next month um, another one that I can't really show you progress on but I have been using is this Clinique high impact mascara using this every single day I'm applying makeup and this one is just gonna be done within two three months no doubt about that and then I've got my concealers I've got the revolution or collection I don't know I always mix these brands up I don't know why in fair that I've made a nice little bit of progress on I think like yeah two three months and this one should be gone as well um, it's a little bit too light for me at the moment but I'm using this one in this area and then I'm using a teeny tiny bit of bronzer to kind of darken that up kind of especially on this little chin uh, area to create a little bit of shadow at the same time um, so that's what I'm doing with that one and then this uh, Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay in Light Neutral. I am using like under my eyes and like kind of around my nose and on my cheeks because I'm not using a foundation at the moment so I'm just kind of making a few dots with this and shearing that out and that's that's my foundation <laughs> at the moment. Um, but I'm not using a lot as you can see like I've made some progress on it, I've made significant progress on it but not like the progress that you would have if you would smear your whole face with concealer basically um yeah but i really really like this one and at the moment this is the, the perfect color for me for my under eyes because before i was using this one but it was getting a little bit too gray just because the color didn't properly match anymore and yes those are all the makeup products that i made progress on um not too much yet but a lot of the products that i have in here are like lip products or complete eyeshadows and i'm just too focused on my panda palette and some of the lip products in my other projects at the moment so that is it for now thank you guys very much for watching this video and i hope to see you in one of my next ones bye bye